Today we're going to talk about this. It's an air fryer with a dehydrate mode. But to explain why I want a dry filament in this air fryer, I need to talk about another air fryer just for a second. This is the exact same air fryer. And when my girlfriend moved in with me, we ended up with two of the exact same. So I thought instead of drying filament in my oven, I could put this where my 3D printers are and only use it to dry filament. To find out if I could dry filament in the air fryer, I needed to know it could hold an accurate temperature. So I put one of these smart temperature sensors inside, set it to 40 degrees, and came back a few hours later to look at the data. I have the data on my iPad, and after a few hours, the temperature leveled out at 44.4 degrees. So it's within a safe range and fairly accurate. I want to show you a few of the killer features that make this air fryer good for drying filament. In the bottom of these air fryers is a crisp tray that leaves an air gap of about an inch. And I filled mine with orange indicating desiccant. This means that once the filament has finished drying, it stays very dry in there and you don't have to immediately take it out and get it into airtight storage. The second great feature is its wide temperature range, specifically for engineering filaments. The PPA carbon fiber that Bamboo Labs has just released needs to be dried at up to 140 degrees for eight hours. There, I don't know of any filament dryer that can get that hot um, to dry something like. So here we go. One wet roll, one dry roll. Let's test it. To dry PETG HF, just pop the spool into the air fryer. It fits suspiciously well. Set it to dehydrate at 60 degrees for eight hours, and you're good to go. So, the air fryer dries filament as well as it cooks chicken nuggets. But now I've got another experiment. I've never wanted to buy loads of those plastic containers to store my filament in. Can you do the same thing with a Ziploc bag? To find out, I put a freshly dried roll of filament in a Ziploc bag with some desiccant and a humidity sensor and recorded the data for a week. It's a week later and the humidity in the bag is at 15% and holding steady. Going forward, I'll be storing my filament in these Ziploc bags from IKEA, but I have one small upgrade for the desiccant. Right now, it's just loose in the bag and it can get kind of messy. I found this model, which you fill with desiccant, slide into the spool and screw it on. It keeps everything much tidier and you can dry the filament with the container still inside, as long as it's made from the same material. You can also vacuum the bags and they seem to hold the vacuum quite well. 